How you doing guys? It's old guy Jim here. I'm going to head up to the car here in a minute and show you what I've been up to. Mosey, stop chewing. A real quick peek at the dogs. There are my babies. There's that Catahoula. There's that cat cur. Okay, I'll zoom zoomed in again. There's a cat cur. And that's Willie. That's Molly waiting to go up to the car with me. Alright, you guys want to go up to the car? Dar Dar. Hey Darla. Where you at, Dar? Where you at, Dar? You in here with all the car parts? No? Well, I'll find that dog and um, we'll head all the way up there to the shop. Alright, I'll do a little talking while we walk up to the car. Uh, cancer is still in remission, I think. I haven't, felt, I haven't been feeling that great lately. Not too good. Um, arthritis has been absolutely horrible. Like I said, I raced motorcycles my entire life and uh, had, a lot, had a lot of bad falls. Any, anybody that races bikes has probably had a lot of falls as well. And uh, I kept broke 30, 35 bones, probably. Arthritis runs in my family, anyhow. So, it's, um, come on, Willie, quit your complaining, let's go. Come on, buddy. Come on, girls. Yeah, like I said, uh, arthritis runs in the family, and it's pretty bad. It's actually hard to walk up this hill. I mean, you know, I was an athlete my entire life, too. you think my cardio would be better. But good God, like her, the shit kicked out of me. There's a CRX still sitting there that my nephew bought in Florida six years ago, brought it here. His plans were to do the same thing that I'm doing, and uh, he never touched it. It's going to sit there and rot into nothing. It'll be there ten years from now. It's an SI, too. It's a shame. Okay. Wow, I'm making it. I'm here. Okay, there's the interior. It's all done. I'm not going to put nothing else in it. Not even a seat. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways. Trunk. Whew. Okay, I'm here. Anybody that has looked at Go look at your trunk. Pick up your mat and take a look at the condition of it. Probably looked like mine did. Um, that looks like rust. That's the uh, treatment. Because I got that stuff out here. Here we go. It's actually pretty good stuff. First time I've used it. And uh, you just... Spray it on, let it sit for 20 minutes, spray it on again. It uh, does its thing. Uh, puts it, uh, does something chemically that keeps it from, you know, it turns the rust black and etches it so it doesn't uh, come back. And this stuff turned kind of a, kind of a gold, kind of a gold color. That's not rust, that's just, uh, that's just the way it left it. So, I got to now I'm gonna go ahead and sand it all out and get my urethane primer out two-part urethane primer And uh, let me show you what I did up here It's really dirty, but a lot of dust This floorboard I sanded out took off all the uh, Sound deadening. I, I didn't take this piece off. I, I probably should have but I didn't took it all off and Got it as smooth as as a floor. It's good enough for a floor sanded everything up in there just it, I, my fingers are just absolutely worn out the sandpaper has taken off my skin it's it's just paper thin i can feel in everything and um yeah it don't look too bad though i'm gonna get a uh, base coat of the uh r81 red and uh urethane clear coat it look pretty damn good dash had to sand all this out and painted all all this is going to be painted to uh, all the interior you can see where i've been working back here sand it all up in here got to prime that still sand it again and uh just a there's a lot of uh oh here we go there's that putty shit that they put in the cars and there, there's a there's a plug right there i gotta get that out put new plugs in you can see how tall this this goop is they put on it I'll knock that down. You know, just kind of smooth it out like I did this one. You can see where I kind of flattened out just a little bit. Just to make it so you don't catch your foot on it. Stuff like that. Just to make it look nice. 
you know, so I still got to sand all this and uh, what else I got going? The doors? I, I don't know. Um, if I when I lay that paint on the on the interior, if it if it doesn't differ from this color, the doors are not, are not marred up at all or or screwed up in the door jam anywhere. You know, if if it's if it's not if it's not bad, if it matches good, I'm I'm not gonna paint that. So I took I took the uh, they call these sashes S A S H, and uh, there's a lot of dirt underneath as you can see. The windows will be coming out scrub all this off if i can avoid removing all this rubber because it, it never goes back on the same I, I don't i don't care who's doing it unless you put new on if you try to replace it you know if you replace it with new it's fine um taking the old stuff off and putting it back on it, it never never goes on the same all the tracks all the window tracks are uh are, are uh, cleaned up really 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 just perfect clean there's nothing on them at all and I uh, put the urethane base primer on them. They're they're absolutely spotless. When the guy comes, when the safe light comes out here, whoever I call to put glass in, they're gonna love me. They're gonna be like, "Wow, okay, easy job, good day." The side windows, same thing. Took them all out, cleaned all the tracks. Back window, same thing. Cleaned them all. Um, up in here. I don't even know. You know, I honestly don't even know if I'm going to put those back in. It's just weight. But, I mean, what is a few ounces? These little these little nubs right there have clips that, when you go to take these out, put, put the uh, the beauty strip, I call it, just push it forward and these slide right out. It, it comes right up. It's like no big deal. The clips still break because they're so brittle from being 26 years old. But, um, yeah, I ordered, I ordered all the new clips. Ordered all new clips. Same with the uh, with the front. These have clips as well that uh, go into the. Uh, God, you know, if I could think of a word, I'd shit myself. The um, the trim, the window trim that goes around here. All these, they got little clips underneath them. There's there's a lot of them. Um, trim and all the clips. You got the you got the trim piece and all the clips. I tried to buy the clips separately, but they, they say that they don't have in stock but if you buy the trim you get all the clips with it it's eighty dollars a side that's the only way i can get the clips so i'm gonna have to buy the damn damn trim again too i suppose um we're gonna have lexine windows in the side right here lexine window in the back um i'm, I'm considering putting lexine windows in here either with a, a slide you know for the, for the window uh, you've seen them on race cars or actually just make the whole window, hook it up, and roll it up and down with uh, just a Lexan piece. But the, uh, the, um, the rain, the, um, what's that called? Son of a bitch. I can't think of nothing. It keeps the rain out. Your strip that goes here. Um, they call it a belt. But uh, if that rubs on, on a Lexan window, it'll, it'll scratch the living shit out of it. Lexan is very soft. A, um, acrylic is, is hard. Lexan is really soft but that's what makes it so it doesn't break it just it's gummy it just turns into gum the uh sunroof delete i don't know if i told you guys what i use for that this is actually a piece out of another another honda it's either i took it off an ef or an eg i can't even remember um but i cut this off a, off a roof of a honda that didn't have a sunroof and the reason i wanted it is because it's 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 got the shape it's got the shape of, of the roof, and it fits right against the... If I were to use a flat piece of uh, sheet metal, it, you know, it would be all lifted up and uh, not worth a shit. But this is actually just hugs it. It's really nice. Really nice. It, fit, it fits absolutely perfect. No, Not even no lights coming through it, just, just sitting here. So that's, uh, that's the sunroof delete. Let me tell you what, that sunroof delete, I have it over here. Oh, I'm doing this side right now too. That, that'll be uh, primed up today. I sanded that all out. I got some more more smoothing I got to do. Then I got the backs to do. And then I got in there to do, and uh, it's not too bad. Well, it it is in my condition. It's pretty pretty bad, pretty freaking bad in my condition. <laughs> but why why delete the sunroof? I'm telling you, those things are heavy. I want the car as light as possible. The the I spent like eight grand on my motor. And that's going to make 600 plus easy. And uh, I want to get as much weight off the car. This is the uh, sunroof out of my car. And 
This son of a bitch is, I mean, it's, it's friggin' heavy. It weighs, it weighs a good bit. I'm gonna say, if I had to guess, 40 pounds. You know, that's, that's what I'm saying. I'm set it over here because my nephew didn't bother to put anything down. Plug his car up the top here, it just gets rained in, so I set it up. Look at this thing. Look what he did. He tore this thing apart six years ago. Didn't do a damn thing with it. And um, there's no rust in this little CRX. There's just, it doesn't have, there's no, no rust in it. Anywhere. It's got potential. But uh, I don't think I'm going to have the time to do it in the car. You know, I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to pass away. He did that when he was moving the car, it's got no brakes. It, it took off when he, down the hill over here and smacked a truck and put it, it didn't have any dents besides that. But yeah, underneath it doesn't have any, uh, it's got a fiberglass hood on it. So I can open it up. There we go. Yeah, it's got some kind of no name fiberglass hood or something. You see where somebody cut it. But yeah, anyways, yeah, that's I'm not getting into that. Spare tires. Oh. I'm as steady as I can be on my car. I get about four hours out of my body before before it shuts down. Before everything hurts too bad to do anything else. And so today I'm gonna finish I'm gonna finish that uh, passenger side floor. And I've gotta get primer on this today, so I gotta start sanding it out and uh, get some primer down. And I gotta start sanding every little every little edge, even up in here, best I can. Smooth down some of the goop they got on it. You know, just make it presentable. You can see a big old fat thing of goop right there. That that can be knocked down. Uh, not too bad. Look at the way they look at the way they vent these. It's underneath the bumper. It's pretty cool. When air comes in the front, it has a place to exit. So yeah, I gotta get busy on it. I don't want to take this out and plug it up because I wouldn't get any any air. No heater, no defrosters, no AC, no nothing. This is your uh, forward vent right there that's underneath the, uh, I call it a windshield balance. This was straight up. I bent it over. I'm going to put a plate on top of that and screw it in so nothing can, you know, rain can't get down in the car. And uh, I just hit that with some Krylon gloss black. Engine compartment's done. I had to tape it off so the overspray, I already got overspray on it. I'm pissed about that. There's a lot of overspray right here, down in here. You won't see it, but yeah, I got it taped off. That's about it. There's really nothing, uh, nothing exciting that I can, <laughs> you know, really show you guys. I'm just gonna be uh, sanding away and priming and getting everything as smoothed out as best I can. Uh, if you guys have any questions about anything, I've had to do a lot of research to do a lot of what I'm doing. I can save you guys the trouble. If you want to give me a holler or message me about hey what do i use for this how do i do this i made a lot of mistakes I spent a lot of money that i shouldn't have wasted money learning and uh okay i'm gonna hang it up i'm gonna post this video like i said it's nothing big but um i'm on it guys and um, i'll keep you updated i'll see you then